Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a hard macro for the FPGA board using a simple example. So let's start with making a new project in Xilinx ISE. Here are tool I'm using is this 14.1 uh, version of the Xilinx, creating a project named macro, setting the board, and let's create a new airlock file. Give a name macro. Next here I'm doing a single simple one, so given simple name that A B C C is an output. So I'm gonna do ending of A and B and giving it output to the C and creating a macro for that. Seven. Now go to the implement design and last option place and route and second option FPG editor. It will create uh, editor in a bit. So once it will be done, it will pop up with the new FPG editor window like this. So we start over here. So once we get this, once we get this, we get two tables here. It resize them to keep the view inside the window uh, here. And there's a list one. So we can see here the net we have ABC and the one entity that we are using to generate the logic. So now click on the first one. This is our pad that we need to remove to make it hard macro. So unplist, double click on the all of them and unplist it. Once we unplist all of them, go to unplist component and delete this. So by double select, double clicking and press delete key. As you see here, I get an error that you cannot change, make uh, logic changes in the current edit mode. So go to file, main properties, and here change the edit mode to read write. Click over, now you should be able to delete it. Once we delete it, go to file, and do save as we're gonna save our macro we don't want to lose it so give a name and underscore macro make sure you remember the name because this is the name that you're gonna instantiate in your program where you call this macro once we do that do this make sure we save it now go back to the all components and double click on the slice as you can see here we got the red bullseye which which indicate that we have the hard macro over there. So zoom a little bit. As you can see, here are the three dots, green dots, which is connect, which were probably connected to the pad that we have removed. And we're gonna declare it as a hard macro pin, so we can use it externally. So here's a window. So here, this is my CNet, which is out. And I'm gonna keep the name pin name same as the prior. So it's gonna make my life easier while I use it in the system. Okay, once we do this, save the file. And now we are done at this point. We're gonna use this macro in the next our new project. So we can taste our macro in the same module. So let's instantiate our macro here first. Give a module. Remember the name that we give the macro and the pins. As we have the same one, I can copy from here. Uh, 
and not choke. Save it and create a temporary variables to simulate the things. P Q put R and call the module here and score macro T one dot A P comma dot b q colon dots e r and save it so once we put your module synthesize the design to make sure everything is working it should be working very well and once we do turn that we would be able to uh, generate the UCF file. The yes, synthesis is completed. Now we can generate a UCF file to put this design on the FPGA board. So select the implementation constraint file, give a name, finish. So define the bits that we want to put in here in our case pqr let's say p let's lock into here but as we uh, the p is not a room net it's a red so we have to change it first so we have to define our new inputs to test it. Say input P, input Q, and remove it from here. Now we should be able to, otherwise it's gonna give us an error eventually. So copy and paste this one. Q, R and change the name accordingly. And save the file and generate programming files. It should take a while. And once we're done with this one, we would be able to create the bit file and upload it on the system on our FPGA board. So that makes a little bit fast forward the things. So as you can see here, it's about to be and so till then we can get our adapt software to upload the design. It automatically uh, so here it's done in the back. We can read here process generating programming files completed. And it detect my board by default here, basis two. Let me look at my bit file. That was micro and the bit. Let's upload it and see on the board. So here is my FPGA board, and the pins here are L3, K3 that we are defined, and the M11 LED over here. So let's try our AIN gate. Turning one of them on, it won't work. Turning one of another them, it won't work. So if we turn it on both of them, it works. So it's a proper AIN gate working on FPJ based on hard macro. So thank you guys for watching the video and hope you enjoy and learn.